What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about are you too old and too inexperienced to be successful with women? <laughs> This is an email that I usually, or a message on you know Instagram or wherever. This is usually something that I get uh, pretty much every day. Okay, uh, every, every other day or something like that, a guy will email me and he'll give me this long story about how he can't be successful with women. It can't happen for him because he's too old and too inexperienced. And I get this from a variety of age ranges. You know, guys in their early 20s will tell me that they're too old, too inexperienced. Guys in their 40s and 50s will say that to me, okay? Um, no, dude, no. <laughs> You absolutely can be successful with women. And I actually think being older has a lot of positives. You know, from the students that I have in my coaching program, usually the older guys tend to learn a little bit faster. Well, and sometimes not a little bit. They tend to learn faster than the younger guys. And there are a variety of reasons for this. Um, and I'm gonna go over them in this video. Uh, I'm gonna talk about what all the positives are of being an older guy. And this is not just true if you're like in your late 30s, but also in your 50s or something like that. Or even if you feel like you're old, if you're like if you're like a 25 year old virgin or something like that, and you feel like that's too old to be a virgin and too like you're not gonna be successful with women. Like, dude, I've even had 40 year old virgins in my program, man. Like, you absolutely can be successful. So I'm gonna address those concerns too. The second thing that I'm gonna address is I'm gonna address um, the inexperience part, okay? Why being inexperienced is not as bad of a thing as you think. And the final thing is I'm gonna actually talk about how to start being successful when you're a late bloomer, a guy who hasn't had much success with women and is a little bit older uh, than most guys. So you're starting a little bit behind what the average is for a male, but that's okay. We're gonna help you out in this video. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I'm going to say in this video is why being an older guy is a positive for women okay whether you feel like you're in your early 20s or you feel like you're just a lot older than the other guys uh, that are doing well with women um, being an older guy is fine you know you actually don't peak as a man in terms of your sexual market value until around age 36 can't say the same for women you know women tend to peak in their sexual market value in their early 20s and some studies show even younger some studies show around 18 or even 17 you know not the most politically correct thing to say but that's what the science shows. So if you are an older guy, don't stress about it, dude. Like think about all of the most attractive men in show business, you know, James Bond. Has James Bond ever been played by a guy younger than 40 years old? I think the youngest guy with Daniel Craig played him. He started at 38. Now he's 51 and he's still playing James Bond. You know, I think Roger Moore was even 60 in his sixties when he stopped playing James Bond. Okay, George Clooney, Harrison Ford, all of these guys were older gentlemen, sometimes in their 40s and 50s when they won Sexiest Man in the World. Okay, women like a man who is older. He's a guy who's experienced, he's a guy who has um, maturity, he is a guy who has more resources, he's a guy who's calmer, who knows himself a lot better. All of these are super attractive qualities and traits. And you don't need to have a whole lot of experience with women to have these attractive traits. That's the important thing here, okay? So if you're an older guy and you feel like, oh, I don't think I can do well with women, okay, dude, come at, stop coming at me with that stuff because that's ridiculous, okay? Older men are more attractive. Okay, the second part of this is if you, um, if you feel like, oh, I'm too inexperienced with women, all right? I don't have a lot of experience, so women aren't gonna wanna go for me like you're, I don't know, a 30-year-old virgin or something like that, okay? If you're a 30 year old virgin, uh, you do have some experience with women. You're just not counting it, okay? Just because you haven't had sex with as many women as I've had, doesn't mean you don't have any experience, okay? You've talked to women, you've spent time with women, you've probably been rejected by women. Those are all learning experiences, and you learn from those things. You learn how you react to them, you learn how you process them, you learn a lot about yourself, you have life experience, okay? And when you're in life, you're gonna be dealing with women, you're gonna be dealing with people, and most of all, you're gonna be dealing with yourself. Self-knowledge, being able to understand who you are, what you do, and why you do the things that you do is one of the most important parts about being successful in dating and in relationships, okay? If you know yourself very, very 
very well, you're going to be able to conduct yourself very well in a relationship. You're going to be able to do the right things. And I've seen this so many times with the older clients that I have, regardless about how experienced they are. You know, I have, I've had several clients who've come to me after they've just been divorced and only been with one woman. I have clients in, in their 40s come to me that have really only had sex with maybe two or three other people or no people at all. And these guys go and come from this position of being depressed, having no options in life to within three months, I kid you not, they're dating multiple gorgeous women at a time. And I take guys a variety of different, you know, shapes, sizes, and looks, okay? Why are they able to accomplish this a lot quicker than, well, not a lot quicker, but it, I guess it depends on the student, but I would say that my older clients tend to learn a lot faster uh, than my younger clients. Well, they do this because they know themselves very well. The younger, uh, the younger clients, what I tend to see them doing is that if a girl doesn't text them back, they really stress about it. Like they get really upset and it's just like, dude, if you're getting really upset about this text message, like, you know, you don't really have a good a good knowledge of who you are. You're not very secure in yourself and that's just not attractive. So what older guys tend to do is that if they get a negative reaction from someone, they process it, but they don't dwell on it. They know themselves well enough that they're able to execute even when things aren't going their way. They're able to take their ego out of it and just keep going, okay? They don't really get flustered. You don't need to have tons of experience with women to be able to have that calm, that you know, just deliberate process forward that is ultimately what's going to make you successful. You don't need to have that sort of stuff. And I notice a lot of guys when they're younger, they tend to fall into those traps where they start uh, soul searching and things like that. Um, and that's gonna delay your development. That's gonna prevent you from being able to go out and take action and uh, practice and you know get your speaking skills up, getting your leadership, um, those types of things um, better. Okay, uh, now the final thing that I'm gonna be talking about here is how to actually get some experience when you have zero experience. How to actually be better with women if you're older and you have almost no experience with women, okay? Oh, little to none. Start going out, start taking action. It's the same thing as anything else. And I actually find that the guys who start later end up doing better, you know? There's so many examples of guys that I've met in doing dating coaching, even in my experience too, like I felt like I was a late bloomer, you know? I felt like when I had sex in college, like, cause I didn't have sex in high school, that was like, I was a late bloomer. I felt like, you know, me not having so much success in college and only really starting to be successful with women until I was like, you know, 23, 24. And even then, I don't even think I really hit, um, I really hit something good until I was like 25. I thought that was late at the time, dude. I thought that that was like, like everyone had had all their success in college and I was playing catch up constantly. Well, that drive, that motivation to do what's above and beyond what's necessary made me achieve things that pretty much all my friends in college weren't able to achieve. I was able to do things that a lot of the guys that I thought in college and in high school who I thought were complete gods with women, like they would go into a party and they would always be able to get a girl who was super hot or was like amazing and those girls would never look at me, they would only look at them. Well, now when we go to that same party and I've hung out with these guys in those situations, it's completely flipped and they look at me and they're like, Lloyd, how did you do that? And I was like, dude, how did you lose what you had? <laughs> It's because the guy who is good is basically the biggest threat to the guy that's great because he's willing to work hard, okay? That motivation, that drive, that pain of not being successful in the past is a huge motivational factor and that's one of the things that I think separates a lot of the guys that are late bloomers from the guys that you know were really great in high school and college or maybe early on in life and they're not so great anymore. It's because the guys who had it good at the beginning never had that drive to improve themselves. And so with these guys, they end up kind of like living all in the past, you know, they just remember the glory days. Well, the glory days can be now, but they've never really, they never really pictured that or never really envisioned that. But the late bloomers have because they've been able to use that motivation from all those painful experiences in the past to drive them forward and achieve their goals. So guys, if you're older, if you feel like you're very inexperienced and you feel like you don't have a chance with women, dude, I, hopefully from this video, I've given you enough examples and enough reasons why you're gonna be able to achieve that if you want it. And guys, if you're wondering about my coaching program, luckily I just had three guys graduate from the program, so I'm looking for some new guys to join my one-on-one coaching program. If you're interested in that, 
check out my form down below, fill it out, and if you seem like a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you have any questions or you wanna tell your story in the comments section below, if I have time, I will read them. Do it. Good luck out there.